Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, CIBN, says it has accredited 21 bank ac academics and, uh, and uh, closing the year 2021 with a net operating surplus of 800.14 million naira. CIBN outgoing president, chairman of council, Dr. Bayo Lugbemi, made this known during the 2022 annual general meeting of the institute held in Lagos, explains that the institute continues to stand tall as a vanguard for the promotion of banking education and professionalism in Nigeria. And uh, in Nigeria, in line with its agenda, he further disclosed that the CIBN recorded an improved internal generated revenue of 1.76 billion naira in 2021 from 1.46 billion naira recorded uh, in 2020, representing a growth of 20.3 percent. Addressing journalists at the event, the newly elected president and chairman of council, Mr. Ken Okpara, admitted the banking profession had lost its appeal to the younger generation, adding that the CIBN will leverage innovative herbs and other creative initiatives to create excitement around banking to make the majority of students look forward to the profession. As you know, development in the banking uh, in the banking space has, has, has uh, been on the increase not only in Nigeria but globally. With the as, uh, advent of the, of, of the pandemic, we have started to do things in a different way from what we used to do before. Banking has uh, transcended that beyond uh, the, the, the mortar and brick that we used to know before. Today, we call our banking uh, services through uh, the digital system and a lot is still happening and a lot is going to happen. So the bank banking is progressing in all sphere. I can say clearly that the banks have made significant contributions. If you see the areas of um, digital penetration, you see that they have done so much. They've also contributed to support the small, medium and enterprise industries. But much is also needed. We expect them to continue to support the risk sector to also make impact in also building capacity. We also require that they should continually support the critical areas of the economy as much as possible.